I'm DJ Gregory uh, from Paris, uh, living uh, uh, for two years in Amsterdam. I'm in London for a photo shoot, you know, for the forthcoming year. I would say so far, without uh, any doubt, L is my favorite track. I took three years and uh, I really put all my feelings in, in that track and I, and I still, I mean, the track now came out around 2003, so it's now seven years. I'm still crazy about it, I have to admit. This is, this is my favorite. I just don't know how, but last year I got a, a, a call from uh, uh, Frédéric Galliano, which is a, a French producer who, who's used to uh, go in Africa for 15 years. And uh, we were speaking about, you know, new electronic movements such as uh, the Baile Funk in Rio and the Kuduro in Angola. But he told me, you know, in two weeks I'm going to Rio. I have my friend and I have, uh, you know, a lot of contact in the favela and everything. And I'm, I'm going to record some Baile Funk singers. If you want to come with me, you know, you are welcome. We go together and I, and I show you around. I was blown away. So we did a lot of recording. A month after, we went back again for three weeks. And a month and a half after, you know, he, he called me up and he told me, you know, now that you saw Rio two times, I'm going in Luanda, but you have to, to see what's going on. And once again, you know, we, we will, you know, record a lot of uh, uh, Kuduro singers and, uh, and I'm going to, and, and once again, I'm going to show you the Museke and, and uh, some people that I know. And of course, I couldn't, I couldn't say no, you know. The main idea of those of those traveling was to, uh, uh, of course, get inspired by uh, uh, rhythm, uh, but also to, to. I just wanted to have a bit of their flavor, you know, a mixture. You know. Paris Luanda, you know, that's pretty funny because we, we we were working all day, and you know, at the end of the day, we were just speaking with the boys, and I mean, you know, they, they are kids. So I just don't know why, but all of a sudden, you know, the guy just dropped the Monaco par Marseille, the Paris par là. Bam, we put the mic again, we're like, go ahead, man. I love this idea of, uh, uh, which I'm going to do more and more, of traveling and making the music, you know, there, you know. And then you come back and you just, you finish it, but it has to be done there. If I look at it, I think I was a better DJ before than now because the effort that we were putting back in the days with the vinyl, searching the right mixings, the tuning, everything, uh, uh, to me was extremely creative. So of course today we have way more tools. Uh, it's, it's easier to mix, you know, as a DJ, but uh, the music changed also. So it's not the same way of putting the records together. It's like food, you know, so, so, sometimes you feel uh, sushi, sometimes you feel spaghetti. So me, I like everything. So there's a lot of stuff that I did and that I do that are very much sample based. But there's also a lot, uh, uh, a lot of tracks that I did and, I'm a, and that I'm about to do again where there's a lot of, of where everything is, is played. Even the drum is played. A lot of, you know, stuff with analog synthesizer, with musician, with machin. Enfin, uh, if you pick up like uh, uh, Dono Malendro or Solaris, everything is played in those records. In the compilation the, um, that is going to come out in uh, November, you have some classics, some DJ Gregory classics, and all the new tracks that have been done those last two years with my Dutch friends. The collaboration, you know, with uh, Gregor Salto, Sidney Samson, Nikolai Dimitrov, bunch of remixes, Frankie Rizardo, uh, uh, and a lot, a lot of, uh, of uh, producers that most of the people don't know, that are pretty, uh, pretty well known in Holland. And, and I'm very happy about it because uh, they're gonna discover. Baby, ride me, ride me till you can't ride me.